macros. Do you know what they are? So macro is short for micronutrients. And micronutrients are key and essential for your diet, for your living, for you to lose weight, for you to gain muscle, and all that comes with it. And macros usually divide into three main categories. Now pay attention now, because like I said, this is gonna help you along the way, whatever your goal is. Whether it's just to be healthy, lose weight, or gain muscle. So, macros break down to three main categories. Those main categories are carbohydrates, fats, and protein. Now this is some information you might wanna write down. So at this point, when you have the macros, you need to divide these into a certain weight to know how many macros you should be getting in your diet per day and how many calories you should be eating, okay? We'll break that down here in the end for a little bit. But at that point, when you break these things down, carbohydrates are four calories per gram. So when you're weighing out your carbohydrates, whether it's potatoes, white rice, all that stuff, you can put it on a scale and actually weigh it and know exactly how many calories you're intaking. Next one, protein. This is essential for you. This can come from chicken, this can come from beef, uh, this can come from a number of different sources, plant-based, all that, if you're into that. So that's another four calories per gram. Then we talk about fats. Fats are gonna be nine calories per gram. So the more grams of fat that you have, the more calories you're gonna be intaking, okay? So when you're weighing all these things out, you kinda know. Now, it's gonna be real simple and easy to do this. You're thinking, man, I'm gonna have to weigh all this out and know what I'm doing to get to my plan. It's real simple and easy because a lot of people out there, smart people, already made apps for this. So you can go and get an app online, wherever you're at, and at that point, be able to categorize what you're eating. And some of these apps are very, very smart. They'll either have you take a picture of these things and already know what the breakdown is, or they'll have it in a category where you can pick from a drop-down box. Very, very cool stuff. Very easy and simple. It's not like before where you actually had to weigh it out yourself, write it down, and keep your own journal. So know your macros. Know what you're intaking. And if you're thinking, hey, John, where do I even start with the macros? So usually they say 40% is gonna be carbohydrates. 30% is going to be proteins and 30% is going to be fats. Now I changed mine up a little bit. I have more higher protein and less carbohydrates and fats, but you might be different. So this is where you need to take your destiny in your hands and follow your journey and keep a log and see what works best for you. Obviously you can get professional help from dietitians, nutritionists and all these good things. And if you need help with weight loss, we can help you along with that journey with Titan Therapies too. So don't be hesitant to give us a call or text at 727-389-3220. If you like this information, please hit the like button, follow us, subscribe, all these great things for social media. And make sure you check out YouTube because I got a bunch of cool content there you probably haven't seen on the other social media pages. So I'm John from Titan Medical Center. I appreciate you guys. I'll be back with more great tips to help you get that health journey and weight loss journey and take control of your life. Semi-glutide, you may have heard of it. It's been in the national news a lot lately. It's helped everybody from celebrities to average people lose weight, actually transform themselves into a better version of themselves. How does it work and what's it gonna do for you? That's the real question at hand, right? We really wanna break down some of this different stuff. Not, oh, it's just gonna make me lose weight. What, what can I do and how do I get a hold of it? So, semi-glutide, it mimics a hormone called the GLP-1. It's glucagon light peptide one. And what does that do? That helps focus and target a part of the brain that's gonna help you control your appetite and control your hunger. You know those cravings you get at night right before you go to bed? This can help out there. And the snacking you're doing through the day between your meals, this is gonna help there. A lot of people have problems with weight gain because they overeat, they stress eat, they just can't control their appetite, right? This is going to be a major, major effect for you guys to help you control all that. So it's gonna give you the benefit and it's gonna give you the step ahead that you guys need for progress. Now with this, it will also control blood sugar levels. And that's great too, because it lowers cellular deterioration. That means you live a longer life possibly, right? So when we spread out the lifespan, you can live a longer quality of life and feel good doing it. That's what semi-glutide could possibly do for you. So if you're interested in this therapy, please call or text us at 727-389-3220. And you can ask for our Aries Injectable Weight Loss Therapy, semi-glutide to help you on your weight loss journey too.
Hi, my name is Pat Russo. I'm a patient here at Titan Medical Center. I'd like to tell you a little bit what it's like being a patient for Titan Medical. It's a lifestyle. They can help you perform better, feel better, look your absolute best, and raise your overall quality of life. Titan is a concierge medical clinic that caters to every individual's needs. So basically, contact Titan Medical Center via website or their phone line. You call them up, they'll set you up for blood work. You don't have to get blood work done in Florida, especially if you're an out-of-state resident. You can go to either LabCorp or somewhere like that. Once you get your blood work, you'll submit it to Titan via fax or over email. The doctor will get a hold of you. You'll set up an appointment via Skype or, like I said, in person or directly on the phone. You'll be in contact with the doctor. They'll go over your blood work, what you actually need, and what you're actually looking for in your own lifestyle on that. All Titan therapies are sent from a U.S. licensed pharmacy. So being a Titan medical patient at 43 years old, I'm pretty confident in how I look. My lifestyle is much better. For more information, give us a call or visit us at titanmedicalcenter.com. What's up, guys? Another Titan Medical movie review just for you. I'm here with the fam here. I got my wife, Sharice. Hey, What's guys. Up, Peter? And we're about to review Fast X. That's right. Vin Diesel and all the other companions, Tyrese and uh, Ludacris and all the other ones, came back for another Fast and Furious. You know, Fast and Furious, we're, we're at 10 right now. Um, I know. You know, it, you always think it's going to stop after 10. Um, this one was pretty good, had a lot of action in it, had Jason Momoa come in, being the bad guy. I think he played that part kind of well. Um, eh, there were some things that was kind of off about his character, though, uh -huh. too, I guess. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I guess you'll see this when you see the movie. Jason Stratton was in it. They also had Dwayne The Rock Johnson, so you will see him in it a little bit. And he swore he would never come back to this franchise, so it was kind of funny seeing his face on, on the screen. Because at that point, he said he would never do it, ever, ever, ever. So you finally see him back on there. It wasn't much, but he was there. Um, <laughs> so I'm getting called Vin Diesel in the background here. Um, all right, so yeah, so it was a lot. It was really, really good. I think. What about you? I, I thought it was really good. Lots of action. Uh, the movie was pretty long. It was two and a half hours. So be prepared for that. Bring lots of snacks. Um, but you know, it was a lot of action, so it didn't seem as long as it would typically seem for a two and a half hour movie. Yeah. How about you, Peter? Yeah, it was good. It was you all like, right. Yeah, you liked it. What did yeah. you like about it? Like the action. Okay. Okay. I like the cars. I mean, I like fast cars, and I like cool cars, and that's what attracts me to this movie. Yeah, you know, I mean, I guess that is, that is a thing, you know. I guess we like cars, you know, in the yeah. family type. I think family John likes cars. cars, maybe. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> and fast cars, too, as well. So, yeah, it was really good. I mean, listen, they always have to keep ramping it up and keep topping the last one. And this one's supposed to be a trilogy, so it didn't end with a happy ending or an ending at all. So at that point, you're going to see it go into other movies. Sharice doesn't like that, but that's the way it is. You got to stay tuned and be ready to go see the next one. So with this one, uh, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of five stars. Hey, yeah, I thought it was good. I thought it could have been a little bit better. Um, but you know, if you're a racer and you like cars, you're going to like this movie no matter what. Yeah, I'm going to have to give it. A, you know, I would go with a two, but. I'm gonna go with a three, only because I like fast cars. I really do. How about you? A two. two? A two? Why? Yeah. It just, it was just a two. You said it was good. <laughs> two? All right, well, two oh, a two. It is what it is. So listen, go out, check out Fast X, and you know what, don't get a ticket on the way home because it's gonna wanna make you wanna race your car all the way home after seeing this movie. Thank goodness we drove the Escalade. <laughs> so go enjoy with the family, you know, over Memorial Day weekend or the next week or so. There's a ton of good movies coming out and we're gonna review most of them for you guys and give you guys the inside scoop of what movies are good, bad, or uh, maybe happy, should, sad. Maybe you should see twice. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll see then. So stay tuned to more tight medical movie reviews just for you.
What's up guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are here at the Socorus Titan Compound for Memorial Day, celebrating with some special people and some family members and just having a beautiful all out grand day. With this awesome, beautiful weather we're having today, it's just gonna make it even more perfect. So we're gonna eat some good food inside. We're gonna play some games, some basketball, maybe hitting the batting cage, maybe some pool action, and maybe some pool basketball. I'm ready. And a lot, lot more. Maybe some, some cocktails and some great conversations too. Always cocktails. To make sure it's gonna be one hell of a Memorial Day. So we can't wait to show you guys what's going on inside so you guys can get all the behind the scenes and all the cool stuff. And uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying your Memorial Day too as well. So at that point, follow us in, come check it out and see what's going on in the Scores Compound. And uh, let's go and have some fun. Let's do it. All day, every day, just out here living that Titan lifestyle. When you feel good, you're doing good. When you're doing good, yeah, you're just doing better. That's Team Titan, baby, all day. What's up guys, John here sitting with my good friend, Jason Skeldon and his beautiful girl Echo, and of course my gorgeous drop dead wife here, Sharice. And uh, we're sitting here at the Memorial Day little get together. And unfortunately, Jason's gotta leave a little bit early. Totally understand, but we gotta give him some shout outs. Ding dong ding. And I appreciate all the love for him coming out, both of them, I love these guys. So it's a pleasure having him here. And uh, you know, I thought we'd sit in here in the, you know, the master because some of my best art pieces are in this room. And of course, the man that made this magic happen is right here. Okay, thanks for having me, bro. You have a beautiful house, and you know, most likely, most the best thing here is the crew you brought. You have a really good yes. crew. Thank you. Great group of people. It seems like it's good people. You know, every now and then there's like weirdos, but not here. It's all good no, people. No, actually, so I must intervene on that. Who's the weirdo? Who's so the weirdo? You, there are no weirdos here. We actually did make this party specifically for people that have known us probably 10 plus years. So everybody that's in this home right this second has known us for over a decade, maybe before Titan. So it's kind of cool for them to see us like grow up per se. Yeah, yeah. I think about it like that. Yeah, oh, awesome. super dope, super dope. And Jason's still got a couple walls. He's got to do some custom paintings for me. So don't forget about me, Jason. We got to get the measurements. So I'll get the measurements for him or however he wants to do it. And you guys are going to see more amazing masterpieces done by my great friend, Jason Skeldon. So guys, stay tuned because we got more cool content and more special guests coming for you. We had to give my man, Jason Skeldon, Echo a big shout out. We love you guys and uh, stay tuned. So what an amazing day today at the Socorus Titan house and compound. It was so awesome and wonderful to have our family and our friends here. It was only a limited number, but you know what? That limited number, quality over quantity every single day. Amen. And it was great to have conversations and talk about things and just have a great time. We played basketball, we hit the batting cages, we swam in the pool, we ate amazing food done by Lewis. And you know what? It was just one hell of a time, right? Did you guys have a great time? We had a great time. Yes. I think Anthony got a little beat up by his son. A little bit. Oh. Oh. I think Peter dunked yeah. on him. Peter be on that dunk on that dunk point. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so it was definitely competitive in the sports for sure, 100%. And these young bucks were trying to pick on us older guys. Yeah. But, 
but it's all good. We overcame. We had a great time, like I said, and it was a great Memorial Day to yeah. spend with our family and friends. And we don't want to forget our fallen soldiers, too, as well, because that's what Memorial Day is all about. We need to remember those guys because they gave their life for our country and our freedoms and everything we have today. So thank you and thank your families. And you know what? Thank you to everybody that came to this party. And if you didn't get to come to this party, don't worry. I'm going to have other ones for you guys to come to. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys. We love you guys. And we'll see you on the next uh, Titan event or Titan House Gathering. We'll see yep. you then. Stay Later. tuned on social media. What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Every week, me and my little beautiful wife over here are bringing you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully excite, ignite, and take your relationship to whole new, healthy, positive, and uh, hopefully loving level, right? Fun. We, we want to bring you guys to the ultimate apex of your relationship. So... We always bring you guys some great tips or tricks that maybe we've utilized in our past or will utilize in the future or some of the different things that we have seen with uh, friends, family, and other people out and about um, you know, that has made their relationship successful or maybe unsuccessful, mm -hmm. right? And learning from those mistakes and trials and tribulations to hopefully, you know, to progress on to a more successful relationship. So... At this point, this week is going to be a pretty good topic. Um, you know, with everything going on out there, you know, me and Sharice have been on the dating scene for 15 years each Thank because, God. you know, we've been married for this amount of time and, yeah. you know, John, the kid. John, we the dating scene forever. So. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, get that straight so, out there. It's me or he's dead. Uh oh. So. Uh, you, you heard it first. You don't see me. I'll, you know, Whoa, I'll be. it's on recording. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know. The, I obviously talk to a lot of my friends that are still dating right now or, you know, going through this vicious cycle of dating is what I call it. Mm -hmm. Because at that point, you know, it's basically a lot of people, especially since the pandemic happened, um, people are using apps more than ever. They're swiping left, swiping right, hitting hot, not, whatever it is. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> and, uh, you know, whether it's Tinder, Grindr, all these other different apps out Blinder. there, whether it's just a, a hookup app where like, you know, these people are just hooking up. There's no dating anymore. So um, or they're on match.com or whatever it may be, those match sites. And uh, they're going on, you know, they're serial dating. There's a lot of people that serial date, I guess. It's called serial dating. Yeah. It's because they're going through a whole bunch of different people randomly and they don't, re they really don't care. They don't have anything they're really, really looking for. Yeah. And then you have some people that are looking for certain things, right? And maybe they're serial dating because they're trying to find what they're looking for, you know? And, Sometimes that can be good and I guess bad because you know you're going through a whole bunch of different people and mm -hmm. some people might not conform to exactly what you want in every specification, mm -hmm. right? Nobody's perfect out there, but you might find your ultimate perfect white knight too. So it really, you know, I guess it really depends. Really just depends. But uh, in all this, you know, you're eventually, hopefully, going to get in a relationship and what's going to come with that relationship? Well, hopefully you're going to get good a, good, stuff. a good companion, a good partner, right? And you're going to find love. That's what everybody's looking everybody's for. Everybody's looking for love. Everybody needs love. Yeah. Okay? You're a guy, you're a girl, you need love. You're you a dog, a cat. A dog, a cat, a yeah. pet, right? Anything, Anything like that. Anything. You need love. Yep. And, um, you know, love nurtures. And love helps people grow into bigger and better things, per se, right? 
Well, it's your mom, which loved you and nurtured you and maybe breastfed you and you grow into a strong, fine individual. Peter. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, or your partner loves you and, you know, you bloom and, and progress that way too as well. But the thing I see a lot of is a lot of people throwing a, that word around a lot. That's a sensitive word, it's man. You very can't just easy. throw that out there. Yes. You got to really, I mean, the, the more loosely you throw it, the less meaning it truly has right. to the word. Value. Yes. Right? It's like inflation times 100. It's not worth anything. <laughs> yeah. And it's one thing to say, I love you. Like, okay, cool. But, but if I say, I love you, yeah. that's a whole Big different ball I, I told John that a long time ago. Because you, you, you know, like, you can like things past like and say you love it, right? I love this. Right. But you're not in love with it, right? Yeah. Or you could love someone and not be in love with them. This is true. This is true. That's see, a I, true statement. See, I love a lot of people, but I'm not in love with them. I'm only in love with her. Yeah, he's right? not going to be in love with them. I love some of my anyone. friends. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's uh, not going to be in love with them either. I don't love dirty. I love some of my people. He loves them as people. Yeah, as people. As yeah. people. So, you know, at that point, uh, you know, that's where all my love goes to her and my son and, you know, my family. So, with that, being in love with somebody should not be thrown around lightly because this means different things for different people, right? Some people is the ultimate word. It says, I love you. Right? It takes a little bit out of them to say it. Um, and that's how it should be because it's it should be an important word that you just don't say to everybody around you or you're just not telling every single girl or guy that you're dating. Right. Um, so at that point, where or who falls in love faster? <laughs> is it guys or is it girls? I thought for sure it was girls. Yeah, so what do you think, right? Think to yourself and then say it out loud, right? And then let's really talk about who it is. Now, okay. I would think... It's going to be girls. Yeah, me too. I did think that until John pulled up the statistics. Oh, so most girls are more, more usually emotional. Now, guys, if you have high estrogen levels, you're in taking soy and all this, <laughs> you might be really sensitive and emotional. Yeah, you might be loving everything so, too. <laughs> <laughs> so at that point, you know, you really got to really look at things and say, all right, well, who really does this? So when we were looking up the research on this, uh, the fact is researchers found that men thought about confessing love six weeks earlier on an average than women. The general consensus among studies on love is that men fall in love faster than women. This is, a, this is researched and a fact. Look at that. So, how you know, would you, how would I, isn't that crazy? I don't know why that is, you know, because, no, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I guess it really is a case-by-case -case scenario because some relationships are one-sided, you know, and that's how they go and then they might flip. But, you know, usually it's a guy that's um, courting a girl. Now, nowadays it's different, I guess, because mm -hmm. girls are courting guys. Whole and the whole day day. And so nowadays. it's not the, you know, the old school way of thinking about things or dating. But I, I guess it could be it's a new age. So I guess, you know, guys can love or want to say they're in love with a girl faster than the girls are going to say to them. Um, I don't know. Is it, is it because guys usually do say it first or do girls usually say it first? Obviously, you know, guys are thinking about it way quicker. So maybe they're know. saying it first all the time. I don't know. I know John said it first to me. Do you remember when that was? Yeah, she wouldn't say it back to me the first time. Because she the statement. point exactly is she that you're that. not supposed to just throw that word around. And he caught me off guard. And I was mad at the time. Oh. It was a bad time to say it. Listen to that. You hear all these excuses coming out of here? <laughs> Yeah, right. Here's a little like, uh -uh. violin. He's a little violin uh, will play a two for you. <laughs> I was like, he's just saying that to say it. See? See? <laughs> I was in this damn well, study. Now, it's kind of crazy because when you start looking at some of the different studies they did, you know, men under 35, some of them confess within a week. That's crazy. Now, that's a little fast. Yeah, that's a little fast. That is a little fast. Yeah. You, know? you know, a week you're really starting to get to just know the person, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you know, that's emotionally, you know, physically you want to, you know, know who they are. And you go through that for a little bit. And then, you know, when you start learning more about people or start spending time with this person, then that's where more of the connection starts, right? The connection starts maybe in the beginning. And then you work on that connection. Like, you know, your likes, your hobbies, or my likes, maybe hobbies. Or well, there's a big difference, We too. do new experiences together. Big difference between love and infatuation. 
right? Because you might meet somebody and you are like completely infatuated with them, right? Because they're so pretty or like, you know, all the cool things you see at the very exterior of the shell. So you start peeling layers off the shell and then you're like, Okay, this layer is good. This layer is good. This is bad. This is bad. This is good. This is this is okay. I, I'm not gonna do this. This one's great. So there's layers that you start peeling off of a person per se, and this is real life. I'm just giving it to you in this very raw scenario <laughs> of peeling people back. But you know, there's a big difference between really infatuation and loving someone for for them and then actually being in love now does anybody out there or do you ever ask yourself like how do you know or like what do you what tells you when you're in love mm -hmm. like are you able to answer that question for yourself like even the married couples out there i'm sure there's there's a lot of you guys that watch mm -hmm. it you know do you guys know when you are in love like what what happens when you're in love like what is it exactly that takes place? Well, I mean, I, I could say what I could say what I think it is because of what I feel, but everybody out there is different, right? But I mean, how do you know when you're really like in love? It's mm, a good question, right? Yeah, it's definitely a good question. Yep. I mean, I was. So that's fine. Well, how did you know? Um, you know, because I, I I didn't want to be with anybody else. I didn't really want to go out and do anything else. I mean, that was my, my first thing about it, you know. I, I was Obviously, me and Sharice are pretty close to the way we think about things and what we do, so mm -hmm. that was that's a plus too, right? Because other people opposites attract and all this stuff, and yeah. you might have anything in common with them to a certain degree. Like, you know, if I like sports and some girls out there don't like sports, then obviously that's right there. It's like, all right, well, I'm going to be doing sports by myself or, you know, going to a game by myself or maybe so, might be bringing them, but... They might not be enjoying it. So uh, there, there's different things, right? That's just one example. You might so. get the butterflies. Butterflies are a good way to tell. The butterflies, yeah. The you, butterfly roller coaster effect. You, know, you, you are away from them the small amount of time. You want to be by them. You, you miss them you're a lot. You're missing you know, them. That, that's a big one. Be um, thinking about them when they're not around. Yeah. And then, you know, thinking about your future and visualizing that too, possibly. You know, can you see yourself with this person uh, in, in the older years? And. You know, do you think it's going to be a viable relationship that's going to be a positive relationship for you guys? Is there toxic things that are coming up that are not coming up? You guys got to see this and, 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 and look at that too. You know, well. when you really know is when you start do peel, when you do peel back those layers and you come across layers that you may not like. This is true. And then you just accept it because you love them. This is true. So make sure you guys are getting to know your partner before you say, I love you. Don't just throw that word around. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that's it. the main point of this. Uh, <laughs> and know when you're in love right and don't steer away from it some people yeah, might love find love forever. and they get scared of it and they push it away forever. so at that point you know just know it recognize it and embrace it if it is there and hopefully your partner will reciprocate and embrace it with you yep. so that's just another cupid's corner from us to you guys and some great tips and tricks for you guys. I think this information is great for anybody out there whether you're in a relationship not in a relationship you guys can utilize this and uh, that's it so Make sure you guys are tuning in every Sunday to Cupid's Corner here on ABC at 11 a.m. If you guys didn't DVR it, don't worry. Just head all over to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center. You'll get to see all the great Cupid's Corner content and a lot more cool stuff from Type Medical Center and from me and Sharice. And uh, we love you guys, and we'll see you guys next Sunday on another Cupid's Corner here on ABC at 11 a.m. See you then.